at the Mac West Bank. We've been here all night. When are you going to let us go? Yes, yeah, as chilly as a really wrong nipple, mate. When, <laughs> when Butterfluff gets back from talking to the police, we'll see what she's negotiated. It better be good news, though. You're not the only ones getting cold. Cold! <laughs> Don't do that. You've already been told. Told! <laughs> Back pickle face. I told him we want some food, but he said he won't negotiate unless we release the Australian. Look, you'll be in far more of a bargaining position if you keep him here and let me go. Yeah, I might. Uh, that's not cricket. If it's cricket you want, then surely the English should be out a lot quicker than the Aussies. <laughs> Gee, uh, that's an interesting ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I've got it from Ratness. <laughs> It's the cop. I'll put him on speaker. What do you think about our offer, Tony? You give me an Australian, I'll give you a cheese sandwich. To be fair, Tony, you are getting a good deal. Oi, listen, pig. <laughs> hey, let's try and keep this polite, you floppy-head git. <laughs> we want some food, we want it now, and then after that we want a plane that takes us out of the country and we want to go somewhere hot. I know how you feel, mate. <laughs> you know we can't do that. Listen, if you huffers don't give us what we huff and want, these two huffers are going to be more huff than George Michael in a policeman's huffing lavatory. Sounds to me like a load of huff and puff. <laughs> right, that's it. No more games. I say, let's waste the limey right now. Go on, then. Do it. Pull that trigger. Right now, if you've got the guts. You want to hear a grown man beg, dear? Well, forget it. You can take a man's life, but you can't take his dignity. Actually, can I just check? You do call Australians limeys, don't you? No. Please don't hurt me! I won't be mummy! Look, think about this treacle cheeks. Kill me and your whole life changes. Not as much as yours, mate. Shut up. <laughs> don't throw everything away. Look where a life of crime's got you so far. Don't listen to him, chocolate knees. Shoot him. A beautiful woman like you deserves better than this cabbage nose. You got a good point, wallaby chops. <laughs> Do you really think I'm beautiful? Right, that's it. Give me the gun, peachy breath. Don't do it, raspberry burp. Stay back, Tony. Maybe he's right. Maybe I can do better than you. What are you talking about? No one else is going to love you like I do, cherry lips. What about me? My heart's been burning since the minute I set eyes on your licorice gusset. <laughs> what could a spotty little man like you give a woman like this? Yeah, I can give her more than you can give her. What kind of life is she going to have with you? Champagne. Oh, yeah. I can afford champagne. Penthouse apartments. Oh, yeah. I can afford champagne. <laughs> but most of all, I can give her love and romance. Hey, I do romance, mate. Better than you as well. Oh, you reckon, do you? Come on, then. Me and you, right now. Let's see what you've got. OK. <laughs> so true, funny how it seems Always in time, but never in line for dreams Oh, you've got a lovely pair of coconuts <laughs> She's got the top chest of a goddess, the wibbly wobbly woos. This is the sound of my soul. If the lady wants a baby, I'm the cock of the north. <laughs> I told you I was more romantic, toffee knockers. Why don't you hand me the gun? And will you promise you'll love me forever? Forever and a day, chicken legs. <laughs> OK, there you go. Ha! I can't believe you fell for that, psycho tits. What? <laughs> Yeah, and I fancy Charlie Manson and Jeffrey Dahmer as well, you bloody freak. Now stick them up. Nice work, Mac. What can I say? You're a genius. You're brave. You're good-looking. Do I really have to say Just all read this? it. We've been after these Romans for months. It looks like you two are going to be in line for a million-pound reward. Sweet, Sweet mother, mother Hopper! Hopper. <laughs>